Aloha! Beautiful golden pod. Star Nation, star family. Waking up on this beautiful miracle day, even though astrology and time isn't real. It's a wonderful day when Venus has gone direct after a little spell in the shadow. So we've moved through a marvelous period of learning about relations and relationships. And on the wonderful day out of time, we invited all of we to chime in and invite marriage, invite wedding in love with love, and invite wedding with others to learn what might come up in that belief of our commitment to another in our true commitment to source and to love. And so what we have shared uh, on the last few Miracle Days is a 21-day online retreat of sorts, which are these love streams to invite all of we to do marriage ceremonies um, every Miracle Day with all kinds of um, things and places and people and events and just keep marrying, inviting that marriage within. And the to take the hand of another allows us to see what might come up in our fear and our belief that we are giving something up. And the thing that we are giving up was the thing that we love the most called our ego or our small self. And so this relationship period with Venus in shadow has given us new tools to understand what we really love the most and what we really want the most in our lives in our fabulous creations because we are truly the creator of our creation. So this is day three and we are inviting all of we in on this beautiful wedding ceremony. And we are just sharing that um, for ideas of what to wed, wed your best friend, wed your mother, wed a tree, a grass, uh, the stars, the mountains, wed your favorite city, bring it all in. Let's bring it all back to source through these beautiful wedding ceremonies together. We have another feather. We had a feather yesterday and we have another feather today. And so we are inviting all of we to join in wedding and marriage ceremonies every day to restore the true meaning of what marriage is about, which is the taking the hand of another and looking in the eyes of that tree or that person or a horse or a rock or our imagination, whatever it is, just taking the hand deliberately with intention by creating ceremony and then to look in the eyes of who and what we are wedding to empower that altar. Did you hear that hawk? <laughs> the hawk is in on this wedding. So to empower the altar, whoa, okay, we gotta show you these guys. They are definitely coming in for the wedding ceremony. I wonder if I have, oh my gosh, they're gonna fly right overhead. I can't tell if you can see them. See if we can zoom in. Oh, how fantastic. Well, there they are, two beautiful hawks that came in for the ceremony. Oh my gosh. So part of what these beautiful ceremonies are about is for us to remember that nature all around is communicating with us and it is inviting us to come back in as friends, as equals, in uh, taking the hand of all these other beings that surround us that want us to come back together in balance and harmony and recognize that we are all part of the web and communicating together. And this marriage ceremony helps to restore our communication with each other and nature. And by marrying all of these things that come up, and it could be things that are confronting for us. We Miracles in Cosmic Love has been wedding with things inside of we that also feel like challenge or um, 
you know, suppression or whatever. We're inviting it all to come up to the altar with we to join hand in hand in love for love, our love for love ceremony. And so it's like something really magical is happening with these ceremonies because they are really activating my pineal and my interdimensional capacity. So I invite all of we, we invite all of we to participate in these ceremonies. Those hawks are definitely in on this one. And today we are in a divine location in the garden. And we just share it with we on this day three of our wedding ceremony. Will we marry we? All of this divine nature. And the power of altars, as we've shared before, and if this love stream is inspiring, please share it because that's called gifting. And gifting is the way, the natural way, that we are designed to be. And so another thing that we invite is to do some of these ceremonies and altars in places that maybe are not so respected maybe there's garbage lying around like this location so we came here to let the elementals and all of nature know that we love and honor nature in this area and making um, this vow to wed together in love for love with this area and speak to all of these divine beings that reside here and each time we've been doing a ceremony the beings are actually showing us what they look like behind the cover. And so many people are sending we amazing photographs of their wedding ceremonies and experiences that they're having. So here we go with our wedding ceremony. We are inviting all of we to join we to take the hand of another in this miracle coordinate and keep going fam, because it is our power to restore the true sacred nature of marriage and wedding, which means to stand together at the altar in love for love and to see the divine in the other. And together in that love for love, offering through our decree, our energy back to our whole relationship with source energy. And it says in the genes, when the 60th seed ignites in multiple beings, it will be the end of the world as we know it. And Gaia and the cells that make up her consciousness move forth into new reality. And we feel strongly that these wedding ceremonies are part of activating the 60th seed in multiple beings. And Richard Rudd says in the gene keys, earth will disappear in the blink of an eye and Gaia and the cells that make up her consciousness will move forth into a new reality. And so these wedding ceremonies every day, now that we've started the new Mayan calendar, or the um, dream spell calendar, this first 28 days is the days of seeding our consciousness. So the power of the altar is um, part of that power of our capacity as non-physical beings in the physical realms to create new realities. So. We've made a simple little altar. We always like to get creative. And let's see if we can see this altar. We'll try to not shade it or shade it. Maybe it's easier to shade. Okay, so today's altar involved everything that we had available, like carrots. We started with carrots. <laughs> try to get out of the way. We started with carrots. And we always like to do 12 around the one in our ceremony. So we did 12 carrots around the one and then we invited any nature that wanted to participate to come. Oops. And so um, these beautiful little flowers said yes. And this grass that has made this beautiful ring and these rocks around our altar all said yes to be part of the wedding ceremony. As did these gorgeous little white flowers all said yes they wanted to be part of the ceremony in love with love together to make our decree uh, upon the blackness of space the quantum field to say we love we and we choose together to return our consciousness with Gaia Sophia to the realms of love together transcending rigid containers that are now dissolving. So this beautiful feather is also part of our ceremony. And in this miracle coordinate, we invite we. Would we like to marry we? Would we like to marry with we to take 
we's hand and the hand of all of these others in the ceremony and all of this beautiful nature and the hawks that flew with we. So this is our moment to say, yes, I do, or yes, we do, if we feel we do. And to keep sharing these ceremonies around the world, we're creating a Facebook page. Mr. Shanti Love is going to do that as soon as we send a little description. We're going to create an In Love With Love Facebook page and um, invite all of we to keep doing these ceremonies and just allow this wave to keep growing because really we are all in love with love and this is the shortcut for how to declare it and to create our reality through our word and our divine imagination with our ceremonies. So please keep sending the pictures in, in the comment notes or um, yeah, a lot of people are private messaging me but they look great in the comment notes. And I love seeing people with flowers around their head and just all the amazing ceremonies. So here we go. We love we and we say yes to taking the hand of each other and marrying our consciousness wholly and completely and divinely in love with love again with all of source and all of creation dissolving all sense of separation full divinity embodied within and all around in our divine relation. We love we so much. Thank we for joining we for day three of the, for some reason the guidance said 21 day online retreat, even though the first days aren't real and time doesn't exist, so we're not gonna ask questions. Day three, thank we for joining me on day three. And now we're gonna put this beautiful feather in as a final gesture of our love and being, look at that feather. I mean, what a divine being. I heard another bird. Here, let's get a nice view of the divine feather in our altar. We love, we, we say yes. And if this love stream and this, ins this idea is inspiring, please share it. That's called gifting. And this is how we, as a divine emanation. Choose through our magnetization of love with love. Oh, those hawks are everywhere. We love we so, so much. A lovely golden pot. Mwah. Now, celebrate. By the way, at the end of each day, celebrate the day, even though days aren't real and they don't exist. Final little piece. Do a celebration at the end of the day for your beautiful hero's journey of the day. And then go to rest and wake up, rise up, and we start again. Very important to celebrate at the end of the day. And all day, because time isn't real and we're quantum. Okay. Aloha.